All right, so I've gotten a handful of student recordings back in for my multi-panel video. I didn't get as many as I wish I did, but I got a handful, so I'm going to take the ones who did it and move forward. The process will be the same whether you have just a few or whether you have a ton. Um, right now, my step is to get all of their audio into an audio editing program and do an audio mix. You can do this within the video editing program that I like to use, but it's much more clunky. It doesn't work as well. I really prefer to work on the audio in a dedicated audio program, and then I'll take a single audio file and move that over to the video editing program, and we'll get to that in a, a little bit later. So right now, I'm just importing audio, and I've done most of it already, and I'm going to have blurred out student names here just for privacy reasons. Um, but I'm going to, I'm down to my last one. I'm going to bring in my bass player and I'm just going to show you the process. It's been the same process on uh, all the different student recordings. All right. So again, I'm in uh, Cakewalk by BandLab, which is a free program. I'm going to go to File, Import Video. It's going to bring up the folder. You can navigate to the folder. I've already been importing these and I'm going to come over here to my bass player. Uh, I'm going to double click. And it's going to bring him in. Now, down here on the bottom, you don't really need the video because you can't edit video in here, but you could import a video if you're li lining up audio to a video. It has that capability, but you can't edit the video. So I'm just going to delete the video. And what that does is it gets rid of the video, but it leaves behind my track. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm renaming these uh, tracks so I can keep track of it. So I'm going to just call him B for bass. And then I'm going to put his name in here so that I can keep track of which is which. And I'm just going to drag this up and put him next to the bass track that I had already recorded. All right. So that gets him organized. Now I need to get him aligned. So to do that, I'm going to close the video view here and I'm just going to get this out of the way. I'm going to expand him I'm going to expand the guide track on the base and you can see over here where he said my alignment phrase and I've put a marker up here where the alignment phrase go and you can see where he starts I've put a marker up here where the song starts so I'm going to start off just visually I'm going to come over here grab the beginning and just slip that back now something that's important is I have turned off the snap because we're not really playing to an aligned metronome anymore. Um, so you can't count on where the uh, recording started. So I don't want any snapping going on here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, set to my marker over here. And let's see, you've got a, a markers view here. I can snap directly to my marker if I find that helpful. And I'm just going to drag this roughly in place. So I've got his alignment phrase lined up pretty close. I've got his first note. You know, I can click here and go straight to that song start. I've got him lined up pretty close. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to zoom in. And I'll just start right here with the alignment. Zoom way in, and I'm going to line his first note up to the first note of the guide track. Zoom back out here, and I'm going to come on back here. And now I'm going to start listening. So I'm going to zoom in over here and I'm going to come up to my instruction track. And what I want to do is I just want to listen to those things together and see how we line up. So I'm going to solo the instructions and I'm going to solo my student. And I'm going to hear how well they say that guide track together. So I'm just going to play back the count in and listen to that. One, two, ready? Big Bertha's Ball Baby. Baby. It's close. So let me see if I can get in there and make it a little bit closer. So you can see where uh, I started a little bit before he did. So let me back it up just a hair. Uh, back up a measure again. And I'll listen. Oops, pressed Alt instead of Spacebar. Here we go. One, two, ready. Big Bertha's Ball Baby. Very Okay, so he wasn't quite in tempo, um, but it was it's pretty close now. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn off the instructions, and all I'm listening to now is him 
and the guide track. I'll give it a measure count in. So now this is where it gets a little tricky because, you know, these are young players. They're not all great at playing along with the metronome. There were moments where it lined up and moments where it was only kind of close. So I'm not sure if I misaligned or if his time just wasn't quite fantastic. So I'm going to come over here to the next spot. And I'm just going to check a few spots like this. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to call that aligned because that's more together than not. And by the time we were into the song a little bit, it seems like uh, my player was just doing a little bit better keeping with the time. All right, so at this point, I've got him aligned and that bass part is in. So I'll uh, stop here and I'll be back in a little while when I've got a little bit further into the mixing stage of this. <laughs> 